So in this short game lesson, I thought I'd do something a bit different. There's no point seeing me hit great shots all the time. What I wanted to do is take you to a very difficult chip shot, you know, where you're kind of dodgy lies, you've got no green to work with, and bring in Leah, who's my videographer, beginner golfer, yeah. who's probably just like you, struggled around the, uh, the greens, maybe fatted a few, thinned a few, gets a bit nervous sometimes. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so I thought this would be a great opportunity to not give him a decent lie, you know, where you know he might be pretty efficient, but actually give him some real dodgy lies that I think could really help you. So Leah, take <laughs> it away. Let's let's get stuck into your short game and help you okay, ship cool. some decent shots yeah, around frame, this green. Throw me in the deep end of it, but. <laughs> okay. 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 Right. I know you. I know you better than that. A lot better than that. Yeah. Um, one thing that you're doing, which is really common when people start off, is is um, just focus on the basics first. Right. Okay. okay. So your action is okay. Yeah. Yep. But one of the problems just at the start, and I want everyone to kind of pay attention to this. So important is is when you're setting up to any shot, you've got to make sure that one your weight's on this left side. But when you put your weight on your left side, you don't do this because when you do this, what happens to this bit? Yeah, it moves back. It goes back. Sure. And what happens to the shoulders? Yeah. They've got massive tilt yeah, in them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what we want to have, we want the weight on the left side, but we want the shoulders to level out. Sure. Because what you did there, you're back here. Yeah, I think I'm assuming I'm going to hit up then on it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. But actually what you'll do is you will, but the problem is now you're, you're going to hit behind the golf ball and thin it as you did. Yeah, sure. Right? We want the club to go underneath the golf ball, but we want the club to drop underneath the golf ball. It's only going to do that if our shoulders are more level whilst our weight's on this side. Yeah. Okay. Not this way. Cool. All right. Okay, cool. Yep. So let's go back to that one. Just start there first. Okay. Feet a little bit closer together. That's it. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Wow. Lovely. Ooh. Cool. So nice and simple. Right. But that was a good lie. Sure, okay. Right? Yeah. So we said we promised the viewers that we'd give you some shockers lights. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So let's now just let it just drop, right? Okay. Now we're talking, right? Yeah, so now, it, now the action's put under its paces, okay? Okay. There we go more either. And that's one thing when you're practicing, by the way. Don't give yourself good lies when you're sure. practicing. It's, it's, it's pointless because you don't get them, right? No, it's, yeah, especially in my game. Yeah, exactly. I'm always end up in the, exactly. Yeah, so give, give yourself some shocking lies and okay. practice from them, right? Let's see how we get on. Great shot, by the way. Thank you. Pause. Yep. What do you notice about the face? Uh, oh, it's quite got a lot of grass on it. So clean the face before you hit the shot. Okay. Right. So that it's going to help that contact. All right. Okay. Awesome. So good strike. Yeah. But too far, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So what this is, we've been doing some work on on, on your short game. Okay. Uh, you've got that strike, but how do we get that ball just popping up? Sure. So it lands softly. Sure. Right. So what you've got at the moment is this. When you're striking these, you've got a little bit of a drive of the hands. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you do that, what you're doing is, is you're actually driving the club and you're actually de-lofting the club. Sure. Okay. Now, this is really normal because when the ball gets nestled down, our instinct is to do what? Yeah, go hit, into it. Yeah, I'll try hit and hit the it. ball. Hit yeah, it and try yeah, and get yeah. into the ball, right? Yeah. But what we don't, we don't want that to happen, right? What we want to do is we want the club to slip under the ball. Sure. If it slips under the ball, what do you notice about the loft now? It's increasing, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, We've got lots yeah. of loft. So when we want to, when we want, when we're in rough, we want to get underneath this golf ball. We want to have, we want to use the bottom of the club, the bounce, and we want to get the loft underneath. Sure. So what you're doing is, is you're accelerating the grip for impact. Yeah. Which trying is, to get more power. For which it, yeah. will give you more power, which sure. is great for a powerful shot off the fairway. But in the short game, we don't want to accelerate the grip. We want to get the the, the club itself accelerating. Sure. Right. And I'm just using this as a, a bit of a guide. This is kind of yeah, rubbly, <laughs> a rubbly. little rubbery club yeah. here. We actually want the shaft itself to be unloading through impact. We don't want the shaft by, if you accelerate your hands, look, the shaft goes like this and then unloads too late. Right. And it generates too much speed. Sure. Yeah. What we want to do here is the image I want to create, I'll give you use this in a second, is imagine here your hands aren't moving very much. And can you see the shaft unloading? Yeah. Yeah? Start with that sensation first, where you feel like the head's really kind of releasing under. Sure. Compared to this. Okay. 
Makes sense. Yeah, okay. definitely. So try with that first. Okay. Thanks. Oh so yeah, it feels weird, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit weird. So get yourself set, feet, 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 close together, okay, that's it, fantastic. Close. Now keep an eye on these. Don't let these travel. If these travel too far, right. look, look what happens. You yeah, actually yeah. load load the shaft yeah, yeah, as yeah. opposed to unload it, okay? okay? That's it. So you want, ah, see, can you see how the club's, there you go, see how it's releasing? Yeah. Brilliant, right? Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, cool. You make sense. There you go. Brilliant. Yeah, it really helps exact like, well, just the weight of it helps. It you helps, it's it. a great feeling. It's yeah, a great, fe great feeling to get the club under. Now, to help stabilize this, okay, so that, and by the way, when you're doing this, it isn't, for you the guys watching, it isn't this. We're not, we're not getting, I'm not at all getting you there, am I, to flick your wrists? No. It's just, as you, st as the hands stop, what happens to the club? Yeah, it comes through. It releases, and yeah, that's the yeah, idea. Yeah. You, you want, don't want these hands traveling too far to get the loft. Sure. The second thing we're gonna do now, you've got that sensation here, this is second stage. Start with this first. The second stage to stabilize this so you've now got some room to come through, because if, if you don't move anything here, eventually it will t turn into to a flick. Okay, yeah. We don't want that. Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create room by letting this lead shoulder work up okay. and back. That's it. But when you do this, watch this, it's not this. It's not a drive, remember? Right, yeah, you sure. still wanna keep the sensation that she's unloading yeah and when if you unload it you, the trick on the chest is look how close my hands are to my, okay. my 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 hips try and keep it close yeah but if i've driven my hands like this yeah they're... they move away you've got a lot of space here yeah if you that's the that. signal that you've driven there you go okay okay yeah that makes a lot of sense cool so start off we're just going to get the sensation put it again we don't want good good lies put it in a shock in there look there you go it's yeah, a shocker <laughs> Okay. Okay. So get the sensation, the unloading of the shaft. Okay. Cool. And then give yourself some space coming through. Okay. Yep. There you go. So there's a little pivot now as you're standing up a little bit. Yeah. Makes sense, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's good. It's almost good with this trying to keep it near there. It's yes. quite one I'm coming through. Yep. So good. good now, as you're doing this, just pay attention as you're doing it to where you're hitting the ground at the moment. Yeah, you go hit the noise. That's more into it. Yeah. That's more into it. Yeah, yeah. The last few are a bit. Yeah. Flipping the top a bit. Exactly. So if you're if you're watching this, one of the things when you're chipping is is the great to get all this kind of the mechanics in play, but listen to the sound. You know what Leah was doing there is it was hitting the tops of the grass, but wasn't getting deep enough. Deep enough. So you're not here, therefore you'd never get underneath the ball. Sure. Okay. okay. Cool. Now swap clubs. Okay. Now all you're gonna do is try to it'll feel this will feel a bit strange. Yeah, yeah. And just imagine the same thing. You're unloading the shaft. There you go. Yeah. But get the pivot. Oh yeah. So you can come through. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. That was look good. at the height. Yeah, a lot of height. Now look at how that's landed softly now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And it was really deep as well down in the rough there. Yeah. Exactly right. Now you'll see the ball's drifted to the right a little bit. Yeah, right? okay. I mean, I'm being nitpicky here, yeah, right? Because sure, yeah. you've, you've hit a good shot. The yeah, ball, I take that usually. <laughs> yeah. But um, now the the ball's gone slightly to the right, and we'll put it in there again. Look. Yeah. Now it's gone slightly to the right, only because you got the beautiful loft. Why? Because you got the shaft unloading. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But you got it out to the right because your pivot was more of a up okay, just enough okay, okay right and right. What, in golf we want the a, a beautiful arc sure yeah so what as well as kind of obviously this shaft unloading this creating space it also needs to work where Around. up and back yeah okay and that's going to help you then get the club look squared up for impact sure and hit it straight right that makes right? sense yeah but two of the elements which were unloading and that yeah i got those yeah well done cheers okay so I really hope you're enjoying this and thinking funny as you. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, and comment down below. Let me know what you're struggling with with your shot game um, and if this can help. So I'll pause there again. Anyone notice out there? What do you notice? There you go. Okay. Hear that noise? Yep. Right, that's the bounce working now, yeah? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Thin. Thin? A tiny bit. Thin, a little bit thin. Let's nestle it in there again. So what happened there when you thinned it? Why would I you think I it? just came up too quickly. So Brilliant. 
Yeah, the club, exactly. The club sort of came off there, I guess. Yeah, you did. And it, what you did is that the, you didn't quite unload the shaft. Yeah. There was no sound of the club actually striking the ground. Yeah. The ground. Okay. Yeah. And as you quite right said, you lean back. Yeah, it's trying to get that. Um, I guess yeah. Just it's too more. Much of the upmotion, it's more of this. Look, look at this. Okay. This way. I'm releasing through there. Yes. Now pause there. Yeah. Work, I think... work on this first. Okay. Work on the unloading of the shaft. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most important bit initially. There you go. Okay. Then that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, this one is a shocker. <laughs> yeah, this one's tough. <laughs> yes. That was the one. That's the one. Ooh, close. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'd, I'd take that. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was a pretty shocking lie. Yeah. And we're only using uh, 56 here. So if, if we use 60. Would that get it higher? It'd, or? Put, it'd go a little bit higher. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let's nestle it in again. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, that one's deep. Okay, but this is, look, the, the viewers are going to love this because this is ultimately what you so we see. Let I me mean, just take a picture of this for the viewers, actually. Yeah, this is why I end up in so a lot. Viewers are going to, just so that you can see, I'm going to get really, really close. Hang on, uh, look at this here, look. That is basically... Comparison. This is basically what we're chipping out of right now. Um, it is pretty shocking. Okay, but <clears throat> look, this is real, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I pause there again. Yeah, it came too much, not not deep enough into it. That's it. Really feel that that club is unloading. Yeah. There you go. That's it. And then. Then that's release, it. That's yeah. it. Good. Okay. Look at that now. Okay. Close. So it's still releasing slightly more than we, I mean, it's a great shot out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great shot out there. Um, it's still releasing it's slightly bit to the right. So that's something I need to work on, I guess, getting uh, that. And it's, and I still, I think we could still get this higher without, with just by having a bit more of the popping up. So what, let me show you here for a sec. Okay. So what, what you've still got a fraction, which is, I mean, it's brilliant, right? Yeah. You're doing really good. You, you, you're doing a really good job of this. If we want, and I'm being harsh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> if we want this ball to pop up a bit more, yep. you have to have the confidence, and I say confidence because it requires this, okay. to really unload. Right, sure, just go for it. And it's hard to do because in most sports where we're, we're ball, hitting balls, we drive. Well, especially the distance as well. It's like, in my mind, all right, I don't want to hit it too hard because, you know, it might fly over the green, but um, it's, don't have faith. It's a really strange situation. See, the, what the best players feel yep. is like they are literally putting on the brakes here okay. and allowing the club to just pass. Accelerate through. Accelerate underneath. Right. So it's like they're stopping this way, but they're not stopping like the amateur might do and we not move any movement. There's a pivot, yeah, but they're stopping sure. and letting the club look just yeah. underneath. Okay. And I get it. It's, the problem with this is this is not a miniature full swing. You don't do this in the full swing. Sure, yeah. Yeah? The a full swing is much more drive, completely the opposite, yeah? This is, it, the, where in full swing, we, we're creating the load. Yep. Then unloading it at the last minute. Sure. Here, we're actually unloading the shaft, very look. Early on. Anyway. Early in the swing, okay. okay? So it's just a very different way of looking at it. It requires some confidence and, and look, allowing yourself to mess it up a few times. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Clean the face, yep. get that right. Okay. No. That's it. Do you want to go and jump on this? Just give a. Oh, okay. Quick, yeah. Have a quick go, just to get, remind yourself yeah, of that sure. this, this sensation. Now, so you see how far the hands travel there? Yeah. There you go. That's it. Just feel that unloading. Up. Bang. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's it. Then add the pivot in that co to complement that. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. They, and you, what, what that acceleration's doing is giving the, the club head a little bit of speed to get through the rough. Sure. Okay. Okay. That's the one. That's the one. That is the one. Yeah, some nice height on that as well. Brilliant. See the difference? Yeah. So it's going to take some practice, like yeah, all these definitely. things, right? But that there, I can't do any better than that. Or having the confidence to attempt it as well, <laughs> or have faith in it, I guess. Yeah. You just it, look, look. With all of this, it's a mindset, right? It's a complete mindset that you're going to have to get. You have to just. It's a complete different action to a full swing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So three things. We've got unload the shaft. Yep. We've got setup. Yep. Yeah. We've got pivot. Get those things in place. 
and it'd be a huge, huge help. So once you feel you've mastered this shot and you want some more advanced information, check this video out right here. I actually get a lesson myself from the best golf coach in the world. Plus, if you wanna follow Leo's journey, head over to my website right here where we're actually gonna set up a break 100 series. We're gonna track Leo's journey all the way through to hopefully breaking 100. But until next week, have a great golfing week.